In 2006, under the Secure Fence Act, we built 55 miles of fencing here in South Texas. Uh, we started on our east side because that was our busiest area. Now U.S. Customs and Border Protection says the Brownsville area has the least amount of illegal crossings in the Rio Grande Valley sector. On our east side, uh, accounts for about 6% of our traffic. The Brownsville area is a great example of how it should be done. Last week, freshman Congressman Dan Crenshaw visited the valley. His first stop was Brownsville, where he saw the fencing near what was once the Fort Brown Memorial Golf Course. Washington has to listen to the people on the border. That golf course was operated by Eddie Lucio's brother, Robert, for almost 28 years. It closed in 2015, a few years after the fence was built. He was just broken in two uh, because they placed a wall to the north of the golf course. Putting the golf course between the fence and the Rio Grande. Lucio is a Texas state senator, a Democrat from Brownsville, where he and his siblings were born and raised. Robert talked to Fox 26 on the phone. He says he stopped speaking on camera because it's painful to recall how his business fell apart. People little by little stop going, stop becoming members. Two years before Congress passed the Secure Fence Act, Robert says he invested more than $800,000 in the course. He says he would see migrants crossing through his course, but they were never a threat to the golfers. He says some of the crossers would go to work in Texas and return to Mexico by the end of the day. Robert believes it was the impression the fence gave that led to the downfall of his business and eventually led him to file for bankruptcy. Did you feel unsafe before the fence? Not at all, not at all. Do you feel safer with the fence? Not, I feel the same. I, I mean that sincerely. Crenshaw believes barriers would also slow down traffic and free up agents to do other work. He says he understands most of the migrants in the valley are families and unaccompanied minors, likely seeking asylum, but considers this in part a sustainability issue. In, in the end, we have a finite amount of resources. We would love to take the entire world and, 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 and make them American. We would love that, but it's impossible. Lucia believes the money for the fence would be better spent elsewhere and Congress should put more focus on a guest worker program to promote legal immigration, but says the U.S. should not turn its back on those seeking asylum. These are people that have tremendous hardships in their lives, and, and they don't want to leave their mother country. Lucio believes politicians who come to the border like Crenshaw need to expand their visit. Talk to the mayors, to talk to school board members, to talk to just the citizenry in general. Crenshaw did say this was the first of many trips to the southwestern border and expressed he is open to hearing from other communities on the border impacted by this issue. In the studio, Maria Salazar, Fox 26 News.